I think it's been a very good day to, to start to look at the challenges that are ahead, both for the sector and for Museums of Ireland Scotland as it takes on its new role. So I think that we've, uh, we all know what those challenges are and we all share an ambition. Uh, and it's clear in the discussions that we've had this morning in, in different groups uh, that we really are focused on how we can deliver the best. Uh, and that's true of individuals working in uh, independent museums and university sectors and those from Museums Gallery Scotland. So while there's uh, challenges ahead for us all, uh, I think the sense of community and, and sector is really the thing that came out of it for me today. The reason I, you know, I came along today is, is you know, thinking about the, fu you know, the, the, the future role that MGS is playing, and you know, I want to be involved in that. Um, and I think trying to, un I think the big thing that I keep coming across is um, the mixed understandings we have of each other, all different museums. That there's a, a tendency for us to think that oh, all lo local authority museums are the same and they're like that. Um, university museums have, so, and my knowledge from the inside is huge diversity. Um, and I think this is another day when we're having a chance to explore that diversity. And that I think is really, really useful both for myself, but also I think for MGS getting a, a richer picture of what our needs are. Um, so, I mean, I, I feel I'm learning more about that. I'm hoping MGS is learning more about that. And that's that's the really important bit about today. Um, I think the the other issue, which is the is a difficult one, um, is about priorities and focus and saying no and not being able just to have this consensus that says let's all dream of a nice future where there's lots more money, but dealing with you know less money and having to say no. And that's the bit that I think we've got to move to. And I think maybe we're beginning to accept that we've got to move there, but we're not yet there in actually making the hard decisions. No. Okay, thank you. It's an interesting time for museums. I mean, people are making some very serious points about the, you know, the whole thing facing us, all, all of us that work in museums. I like the idea that uh, we've all got the same problems. It doesn't really matter what kind of museum it is. That's absolutely right. We all have uh, deadlines and difficulties and constraints and all the rest of it. Um, so it's, I mean, it's just interesting to see what's going on. The main thing that's come out of today, I think, was the, um, the width of the discipline. You've got a small start-up operation that's competing for funds with larger established museums, and we all have different needs, and really we're, we're, it's coming out now increasingly that there's a bifurcation between these two groups, that the, the smaller operations, often geographically dispersed, have different requirements to the main national museums of Scotland. I think that's really what's come out for me today. Yeah. And do you have any advice for p potential participants to the roadshows? Make sure you know which group you're in because you know the large players are fairly safe, although they're obviously all competing for funding. Um, I think the small, the small organisations are the ones that feel vulnerable in the present economic climate. Um, I think my overriding thought is that there's a lot of consensus in the sector and um, that even though we're very diverse and um, there are representatives from all sorts of uh, museums here today and um, there's a lot of consensus and there's a lot of um, momentum behind making the strategy work.